morning. This is Mrs. Fierros, and today is a part of National School Counseling Week. Today's message is about lessons shared. A wise woman once said, sharing is a wonderful thing, especially to those you've shared with. When we have gained lessons through experiences and situations, many times we hold them close to us. Don't get me wrong, sometimes these lessons are private and should remain confidential. However, there are times when a lesson you've learned, if shared, can help a fellow student. Here are some examples. When you learn about a more effective way to take notes to prepare for an upcoming exam, share it. When you discover a better way to tackle time management challenges, share it. When you find ways to be a better friend, share it. As your school counselor, I take pride in sharing my life lessons with the students of Heritage High School. If you ever want to chat, stop by. Sharing is caring. Good morning, Patriots. Today is Wednesday, February 6th, and you are tuning in to Patriot Press News. I'm Victoria Shreve, and here are your morning announcements. Your annual Mr. Heritage is right around the corner. This Friday night, make sure to come out to the theater starting at 7 p.m. Come see which Heritage senior will be crowned Mr. Heritage, along with performances by the Polynesian Dance Team, the Heritage Dance Team, and this year's talent show winner, Ariana Venezuela. Let's hand it over to sports for some updates. Hey Patriots, just a reminder to show your girls water polo team some support as they made CIF for the first time in school history. The game is today at Drop Zone at 4 p.m. See you there. Today is your last day for the spring musical to audition. It will be held in the theater after school at 3.30 to 5.30. And tomorrow, Thursday, is a mandatory dance rehearsal. You must be there. If you have any questions, please ask Mr. Newman. Hey guys, I'm Megan Samaya, your FFA reporter. And today I want to congratulate the following students who had the best projects in all of Riverside section and will be moving on to regionals next week. Congratulations to Celia Howard for star in agribusiness, star in ag placement, star farmer, and ag sales. Madison Feaster for star in agri-science. Kaylee Gates for Swine Placement, Olivia Figuerera for Small Animal, Riley Chapman for Sheep Production, Kirsten Wallace for Poultry Production, Annika Smith for Nursery Operations, and Bailey Sampson for Outdoor Recreation. Congratulations, guys, and keep up the good work. Welcome back to the one and only Wacky Wednesday. What is up with my voice? So confused. Anyways, for today's challenge, we have finish your sentence. For example, throw back Thursday sucks. Oh! All right, so the challenge is pretty easy. It's just finish the sentence. You say one word and he implies it applies another. And you keep going on to there. All right, so the word is chocolate. Applesauce. Is great. For kids and <laughs> adults. Also, uh. <laughs> chicken. Sandwich. Is. Electric mayonnaise. Okay. Sprite. What? Peanuts. <laughs> Almonds. Uh, strawberries. And. White, will, peanut butter, jelly, sandwich, knockoff, <laughs> pizza. pizza, pizza, day, hey, you, who, what, this is not a sentence. What is happening here, people? All right. What kind of sentence was that? Um, see, 
th this is Where one of those, the... this is a complex sentence that you learn at AP late, you feel me? So what it is is you have a verb, 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 adjective, adjective, adjective with a noun and then verb and then another adjective. And then <laughs> I feel like they're gonna zoom it in. <laughs> it's gonna be like, uh... <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this edition of Wacky Wednesday. Dang, it is cold out here. <sighs> uh, I'm kind of stuck. Yeah. Why are you down there? I don't know. Well, hope you enjoyed. I'm going inside. <laughs> that is all for us today, Patriots. Have a great day, and we'll see you here tomorrow.